Guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is just, uh, well, it's a new way of doing things, really. So, I've been looking at, you know, why it's been so difficult to buy cars. Um, and, uh, sort of I'm struggling I'm really struggling so so what we're going to look at is we're going to look at BCA but this is just beats so we use we're going to use BCA just as a, an example of how things are going at the moment so and uh, you know trading from home as I am let's just see uh, really if we can make a profit it's, so we'll take a car and we use it as an example so this is a um, if we go back up here we get back uh, so this is a Vauxhall Insignia it's a 60 plate now what I've been looking at is the pricing of the cars so well let's just go through this car first and have a look around it that's the quick e easiest thing to do so on the face of it it looks quite a clean car however once you start sort of digging a little bit deeper you will see that it's not what it seems so just along here these are soap suds okay so the car has just been washed down with soapy water along here okay so it looks nice and clean and shiny the interior doesn't look too bad obviously you can see quite a few marks and bits and pieces on it uh, on the face of it doesn't look too bad in the front we're going through they look okay buttons are not worn or anything like that so it looks all right so now we've got a market here 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 it's all marked on the roof might polish out bumper top half of the bumper needs painting well actually probably the whole in the bumper needs painting and again if you have a look it's pretty mullered some of this looks like it's going to polish out some of it don't so we got a rip in the seat a chip on the window screen obviously we don't know how much well we've got the um, sign on here but that possibly could be repaired but it's definitely an advisory it has got MOT on this car uh, the roof gutter across the top here it's in terrible like it's horrible I mean you couldn't sell that car like that and then if we look down the sides it doesn't look too bad but as I say this car's just been washed again if you look down the front you can see soap suds all across the front so it's just been washed so it looks a lot cleaner than what you think it is again down the doors you can see all the soap suds hanging off the of it across the front And then if you look closely, this door is dented. Quite a bit of denting on there as well. So other than that. So here we are. Now they give cap clean fifteen hundred pound on this car now what I can't understand is this and this is where I'm getting a little bit confused and on the valuations so cap HPI or HPI sorry give this car three thousand and ninety five pound retail classes guide give it two six nine oh Auto Trader give it 2370. So, 
really, where would you want to be with that car? Now, let's just say, I, I think the car is worth somewhere in between 2690 and 2370. That's, you know, to advertising it reasonably. So, let's just say, let's get this up. Calculate up. Right, where are we going with it? Let's have a look. I put it here. Just to say, we give fifteen hundred pound for that car, and then we've got fees on top of that, without delivery. But obviously, some of you might want delivery. But let's just say, I'm going to go and pick that car up myself. It's still going to cost me the best part of fifty quid. All right. So, I I have been trying to buy cars from BCA now for about six months and I've not brought one car because they've just in my opinion been overpriced so let's just say because I don't know I've got a bronze or silver membership I can't remember which one it is so just say hypothetically uh, £200 fees 1700 quid so and then let's just say 50 quid to pick the car up And then we want to be what we got on repairs. So we got the bumper needs painting. We got the seat needs a repair. Um, then what else? And a service. I'm I'm looking at 300 quid worth of work on that, even if I've done it myself. So uh, so that's where we are so far we're at 20,050 now if we wanted to advertise that car we're looking at at least actually let's go back we are looking at at least I would say a hundred pound in adverts All right so I have totally cocked that up. So it's just <laughs> right. Fifteen hundred. Two hundred fees. Fifty quid to pick it up. At least three hundred in repairs. And then um hundred pound in advertising. So that car would lay you in twenty one fifty if you bought it at Cap Plain. And I think it's worth around about that, around about two, three, two, four. So let's have a look. Two, three, two, four. So two thousand one hundred and fifty. Let's just say two, four. Two thousand four hundred and minus what was it? Twenty one fifty. So you would be 250 quid profit on that car. It's just really not worth it. So I would want to buy that car at about 800 pound. So where do you go with it? And what I can't quite get my head around is the difference between, as I said, cap HPI, uh, the retail value, and classes guide retail value. And the trade so there's such a big difference in in in, in the value of the vehicles is like 400 quid difference between that and that but we'll have a look at another car and these are just examples i'm not um i'm not going to buy these cars so this is little citroen c1 it's got 82,000 miles on the clock it is a grey four. There's a few bits that need doing on it. We'll have a look, see what they're saying. Right, tyres starts, but the battery's flat, so it's no big problem. Now, I mean, obviously these are really good sellers, these little cars. But again, this looks like it's been photoshopped onto. Uh, I might be wrong. 
but it don't look right. It just looks like it's been plonked into that position by Photoshop. But it is it's quite a clean little car. However, the rear court was damaged on it. Interior looks nice. Okay. Yeah, all looks to okay. Well, it's shown damage somewhere there. I can't quite work out what it is. I think it's the uh, hazard switch. Where a bit of wear and tear on the floor mat. It's, just, it's a 2008 car, so it's a few little wads and sods on it but overall it's a little bit of stone chipping oh and paint lacquer across the front there so yeah there's the dent in the quarter to be quite honest with you that would pop out quite easily i could do that with a glue gun and then obviously just give that little rub down and that would pen in so Anyway, let's have a look. Um, let's see what the valuation is. So, Cap HPI. They value the car at £900 or 980 clean. Classes Guide, 784. Retail, Cap HPI, 2175. And I believe and I definitely think this because I've sold a few of these the 1659 1659 is about what that car's worth retail full stop so again I would want to buy that car in at £530 and it's minimal on there by the looks of things um, it's got free services so a bit of service yeah three services in the book was last serviced in 2017 and they give it 980 pound so the thing is with bca when you're buying on bca so even though that car is a grade four and and you know like listen i'm not knocking bca they're pretty good you know they're pretty good um and if there's a discrepancy on the car they will um, they'll remove it straight away. So I'm not knocking BCA in any way. So, but the only thing I will say is every single car that goes uh, through their auction, they will start the opening bid at cap clean. Pretty much on every single car. Um, some of the dearer cars, they will. Um, coming at a lower price but every car that goes through there they're aiming to sell that car for cap clean and above which I just I can't for me I can't physically I can't make a profit off of it it's just it's no good to me so yeah I thought I'd share this with you um, we've got one more to look at actually we've got a couple to look at actually we'll just do a quick quick go through so we've got this Citroen C3 um, it's quite clean it's got a bit on there and obviously around a bumper but guys what you got to understand is is this you know the less you're okay painting this bumper well it's going to cost you 150 quid at least minimum 150 you just get that bit of bumper painted in well actually so now, now you're looking at well over 300 pound yeah just to get this front bit then you've got damage down on here you've got damage on the rear quarter damage on that rear quarter well that's the same rear quarter ain't it just car's been turned around looks okay here just go back what's that 
Oh, it looks alright. Needs a good valet inside. Definitely needs a good valet. Um, where else? Oh, it's got a few marks there. Overall, it's just around the front bumper, really, by the looking of it. But that's pretty deep. So that is a bumper and a wing, actually. So you're looking about £400. If you can't do that yourself, you're looking at least 400 quid. You might be able to get that out with a dent puller. Probably could. Although it's quite tough along there. Um, yeah, look at that. That's bad. That's broke the paint. So even with a PDR, you're not going to... So there's another 150 quid there. So... And a tailgate. So you're looking at 500 pounds worth of paint around that car to get it up, to, you know, to a reasonable sell, to sell at a reasonable price. So below average, it's a thousand pound. Yeah, you, I mean, at a thousand pound, you might, you might get it up to 1500 quid already to retail out. Again, I think the car's only worth what class does guy give it which is the two four five seven um i definitely don't think it's worth three grand so the car has done ninety five thousand miles and then the last one we're going to look at is this grand pitara it's 2007 but it has only done thirty nine thousand miles but they started it, it kept clean. But again, I have looked through this car. Although I've got no intentions of buying it, I'm just using them as examples. Um, the only real problem I can see with this car, and I've had a good look around it, well, I've done as best as I can on the photos anyway, is, we just go through, is the vinyl. It's gonna need the vinyl replacing. Which is going to cost you at least a couple of hundred quid. But other than that, I mean, these little bits they're pointing out, I mean, they're out of pen out. But apart from that, this is a clean car. But here's the strange thing it's reversed now. So, class, uh, classes guide, they'll give it 3289 uh, clean trade. And Cap HPI, I'll give it 2550 So, it don't make sense to me how they're pricing these cars up. It's got eight services on it. So, parking sensors, etc, etc. But anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. And, uh, again, this is why I'm not buying the cars. Because, I, for me, I, I, I mean... Honestly, I don't think that car is worth what they say it retails at, four grand. It's a 2007 car, all right, I know it's done 39,000, and it is a, you know, an unusual car. But I, I, I don't think you'd get, get I don't, honestly don't believe you'd get that. I think it's closer to the trade value of 3,200 quid. So you really would want to buy that below average, but you're not going to get it. But they've... Uh, yeah, so they've gone in at cap clean again at 2550 Anyway, I don't know if this uh, video's bored you to death or whether you've actually found it interesting. Um, there is quite a big dent there on that door. I just know it's so on the wing. So that would need a PDR man on it. So, um, yeah, where do you go from there? Let me know what you think, guys.